So here we see an example of using the conceptual open hypermedia service with the gene ontology. This is the main page from which we start and I'll choose the example which is a web page about muscles hosted at the University of Leeds in the UK. The web page is a regular HTML page which we've embellished with these links that you can see here. Each of these links corresponds to a term that can be found in the gene ontology. Here the term is muscle fibre. The terms are found using a uh, regular expression matcher, so it's particularly brittle. But you can see on this page that there are other incidents of where we've caught terms. And if I scroll down, you can see more. What in particular is interesting is this succinate dehydrogenase, which if I select, you get to see the pop-up menu. Here in the title of the menu, we get to see the term that's been matched. And here is the uh, synonym for that term that is actually the real term in the ontology. As part of the pop-up, we get to see a description of the term from the Gene Ontology database. There are resources which have dis been discovered which are useful targets for this term. Uh, one from the Amiga browser and one from the NGI browser. Because all these concepts are represented in ontology, we can find broader resources by looking up the ontology. So we get to see the parents of the concept and what resources are available for that. If the concept corresponding to the term succinate dehydrogenase had narrower terms, then we'd also see those displayed here. In this case, we can see that there are multiple ways in which the uh, token succinate dehydrogenase can be found in the ontology. One is as this respiratory train complex 2, sensu bacteria, and here is another interpretation of it, of sensu eukarya. Although the glossary items look similar, in fact they are different because they represent different concepts in the ontology. Also you can see that the broader resources are slightly different too.